here standing talking about the Federation of Cuban Students that I'm Cuban. No. Um, I'm not. I'm actually Venezuelan, Peruvian, Italian, and German, and not the least bit Cuban at all, nowhere ever, no percentage at all. But uh, I do consider myself an honorary Cuban. So my name is Erica Glass, and I have been on the executive board of the Federation of Cuban Students at the University of Miami since my freshman year, uh, so that's since 2012, the spring semester, so since 2012 is a really long time, you can't even think about it. So, um, and so now I get the distinct pleasure of being the vice president, and I'm the pre president-elect for next year. This is very exciting. Um, so just a little bit of context, uh, we're going to start with FEC back when it started. This is a picture from the 60s, and that is when FEC here. That is when FEC started on campus in 1967. That is the original Sebastian and the original Gertrude. And so that's kind of what we're working with here. So back when we started in 67, uh, we were a militant organization on campus. So the Division of Student Affairs really didn't like us. We um, <laughs> just protested about the political situation in Cuba and just kind of were rebels and, you know, whatever. Um, so we... Today, I'm going to talk to you about the past, the present, and the future of FEC. So, back when we started, um, we were engaged in, like, military training in the Everglades. So then there would be, like, crazy militant rebellious Cuban students, like, heading down to the Everglades, like, during the weekend and, like, after school. And kind of training to, like, become, like, a militia to, like, rebel against the, the government in Cuba. <laughs> and so... In 67, when we became an official student organization, the school actually told FEC that we had to stop doing that in order to get an organizational office on campus. So we were never going to be allowed to be like a real organization with an office for our uh, members if we kept uh, being the crazy people that, that they thought we were. Um, and what's really cool about this is that these stories and um, Memories that we have from FEC have all been detailed in Dr. Butler's book. Um, so Dr. Butler is the Vice President Emeritus for the University of Miami, and he wrote a book called Embracing the World, and there's a big fat chapter on it in it about FEC, which is awesome, because when you're in this organization now, you kind of don't think about how this guy who did so much for UM all of a sudden went down to write a book, and your organization is part of it. So that's very cool. Uh, we had some rough patches in the 70s. Uh, we still kind of got in fights with people on campus. Uh, with like, uh, there was like a flag for Fidel Castro that some like uh, radical students were putting up, and then the FEC members were like, "You can't do this," and it was just like a fight on campus. But in the 70s, uh, we were officially coined our missions, and they were community service, participation in university events, and Cuban heritage and history. And since, since then, FPC has grown to have a huge presence on, presence on campus. Um, so that is us last year at our annual event, A Week of Cuban Culture, with President Shalala. I'll talk to you a little bit more about what A Week of Cuban Culture is. Um, so originally, FPC's largest event was three days of Cuban culture. And what it was, it was FPC kind of came out and gave everybody free food and whatever, and it was just Cuban culture everywhere, and it was only three days. Um, until recently, in the early 2000s, one of our members decided that she was going to make it a week of Cuban culture and give people a whole week of free food and Cuban events for people to enjoy and get to know um, at UM's campus. Uh, so freshman year, when I got here, I, our office was in the UC, which was also very different. So <coughs> instead of being in the student activity center where we are now, we were in a tiny little hole in the university center. And then now we're in the student activities, and it's just very cool. Um, I joined, and I decided that I would help the committee in planning a week of human culture. So that's how I got involved. And then once I did that, I decided that I would run to plan a week of human culture, which had never happened before. So the way that it worked was that the executive board of FEC would appoint the committee to you, and they would tell you, Oh, well, now you get to plan a week of Cuban culture. You're FEC secretary, or FEC senator, or FEC whatever. And your job is also to plan a week of Cuban culture. And people would get, like, they would not be happy. They were like, why do I have to do this? Why? So then my crazy self decided, oh, I'll just do it. That's so much fun. <laughs> um, so along with that, my freshman year, I worked a lot with homecoming. Um, that's not homecoming. This is homecoming. 
Uh, so when I worked with Homecoming, I it was a lot of fun. We actually won alma mater when I was in Homecoming, so we got to sing on the field. Um, and that was really cool. And kind of now, what's happening with FEC as vice president? We I have been doing a lot of alumni events and stuff like that. And um, I've seen this org grow from kind of what I saw my freshman year to now, which is instead of having the 10 members that we had my freshman year, we have like 40 active members and we have like 150 paid members. Um, this year we won homecoming overall, so it wasn't just that we won alma mater, we won that too. And we got to sing on the field and we got to do the alma mater on, um, in front of everyone at the homecoming game. We also won the whole event, which is really cool. We got. Spectrum's Ally of the Year Award, we got, um, we won the Kuiso Olympics at one point, and it's just, it's been a really cool thing to witness, especially since I started with it so young. Um, this is us when we were celebrating winning homecoming uh, this past October. Um, so, when I, be, just kind of to conclude, when I was here, when I was a freshman and I first started, um, I dreamed of the organization, oh, dropped it, okay. I dreamed that we'd become the organization that we are today. Um, so it's been a really cool transition to kind of see what I thought FEC could be kind of turn into the actual FEC. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. All right. Good job. Okay. Good. good. Oh, how long was hers? Uh, 640.